Hi, this is Eric Yates, and what I'd like to do is show you what to do with your digital photos when you realize, oh, I've got such big photos, how am I going to fit them into anything? Well, here are some digital photos in a folder I've got on my H drive, and I don't really know anything about them. I just see there's a photo icon. I like using this Views button to go to Thumbnails, and that shows me a uh, thumbnail view of each picture. Now when I move my mouse over a picture you can see that I get a little information about them and all of these pictures have very large file sizes. They're all over a megabyte. That's pretty big for a photo because these are meant to be uh, blown up to a very large size. But when I use photos in school I don't need a big size. So let's open a picture here by double clicking it and a program called Microsoft Office Picture Manager is going to start. Now, this program will allow me to edit photos. And before we go into the editing photos, I'm going to show you one interesting trick. In your folder with the pictures, you want to right click on any picture and then select Open With. And when you slide over, you'll see there are a few choices here. The Windows Picture and Facts Viewer is set as the default on most computers. That's not really a, all that great a program. I mean, it's good if you just want to look at pictures, rotate them, and run a slideshow, but you can't do much editing. We always want Microsoft Office Picture Manager to open. To do that, I want to go down to Choose Program. Now, in Choose Program, I'm going to select Microsoft Office Picture Manager by clicking one time. Then clicking this little box that says always use the selected program to open this kind of file and then clicking OK. It'll save my settings and I'll always have a picture open in Picture Manager when I double click it. So here's Picture Manager again. I'm going to make it full size and I want to do a few things. Number one, let's say that all of the pictures I took were from a field trip or a class event and they're all too big and I want to shrink them. So I'm going to go to Edit Pictures here, and you see I get a little bar down the right side here, and one of the choices is Resize. Well, I don't want to resize one picture at a time. I want to do all of them at once. So I'm going to slide over to the right, and sort of tucked away in the upper left corner here is a set of three icons. Now we're using the first view here, or maybe it's the third if you're reading from left to right. I'm going to select the middle view button here and you see I've got film strip view so I can click on a picture down below and see it for editing above. But I want the one all the way on the left. And this is a thumbnail view of all the pictures in the folder I opened. Now what I'm going to do is use the good old fashioned control A to select all of the photos. I could also use the edit button and uh, uh, grab a select all there, but I like control A. Oops, lost it, so I'll do control A again. They're all highlighted. Now I'm going to go to resize, and I'm going to pick a predefined uh, width and height. I'm going to use these on my teacher website, so I think what I'll do is just do web small, 448 by 336 pixels, and then click OK. Now it's going to take a moment for them all to be edited, and Look at this asterisk to the left of each picture name. That tells me that they've been changed. If I try to quit the program now, it'll say, hey, do you want to save them? I do. So I'm going to click save, the Save button there because I want to do one other thing with them. Something else I want to do is rename all of them. I don't like this IMG5975, right? You know, when I take a string of pictures for an event. So I'm going to go back here to uh, hit this back arrow away from the resize. I'm going to hit the back arrow until I'm back at the uh, edit pictures menu and see if there's anything I can do about renaming them. Mm, nothing there. But look at this little black triangle. Let's click on that. And I see something that says rename. Hey, there it is. Click that. And I'm going to go to this. I'm just give it a simple name here. Practice photo. Okay, and look at what I can do. I can have sequential numbers. Okay, I can I can replace the existing file name or have something preceded or follow it. Lots of options here. All right, and I can have different numbering 
And here's a preview. Practice photo one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to click OK. Ta-da! Look at that. They're all renamed practice photo, and they all have the .jpg on the end, which indicates they're JPEG files, excellent for using on your website. So I'm going to go ahead and close this now, and I'm going back to my uh, window my folder with the photos. I'm going to scroll my mouse over a photo here and I see that now instead of 1.8 megabytes this photo is only 82.6 kilobytes. Very small. So that's an easy way to resize and rename a bunch of pictures all at once. If you have any questions send an email to Eric Yates.